What is going on everybody? Parker Fleming here with a new video, one I'm actually really excited about. So I am in far west Oklahoma at the Oklahoma BioBlitz. And if you haven't heard of that, what it is, it's a giant two, three day long little camp workshop sort of thing. And what you do is that you have different workshops and all they do is you go try to inventory as many species as you can when it goes from plants, fish, mammals, reptiles, amphibians, all of it. I was actually able to get a ride up here with my buddy Josh who's working with a, a professor studying plants. So that's what we did this afternoon is we went, you know, sample plants and her project was the basis of, you know, during first or second order succession of after a burn or after lawns have been cut or some sort of event happening like that, you know, or what type of plant usually takes over first of the new ground, the new area. Well, this study is actually showing what type of genotype of a certain species is takes over first. Like, for example, humans, we all have a genotype. And the genotype codes for what sort of expressions or what things or like you know how we look like or she's actually showing like okay what about one species so she's testing five different types of plants from the same genus so I think I can't remember what they were but it's actually really interesting so thank you to uh, Dr. Lara and Josh for helping me uh, get up here and so tonight I'm actually gonna go bat mist netting so we'll actually go to actually try to go out and catch some bats and tomorrow I'm gonna go hike up to Black Mesa Summit, which is one of the prettiest places in Oklahoma. I've never personally been, and so all I've seen is pictures, so I'm actually really excited about that. And all this is just going to be lots of different workshops, so this video is going to be pretty cool because I'm going to try to document as much as I can along the way. What is going on, everybody? It is the second day of the Oklahoma Bio Blitz. I am actually hiking Black Mesa Trail all the way up to the summit and all the way across the mesa itself. This is the first time I've ever been here and it's actually just a beautiful little place down here in, in western Oklahoma. And I think that's Black Mesa itself. But we'll see. So I'll have the backpack mount on. I'm just gonna get some nice little video along the way, take some good pictures, try to get some good footage for y'all. And I'll see you at the summit. Actually, drove up here like they have like different workshops at this little bio blitz and this little walk I was going on was supposed to be like for like botany and looking at plants but botanists move really slow because they're looking at everything I'm not a plant person they said I could veer off and go to the summit if I wanted to so that's what I'm doing I'll meet up with them later when they get to the top One thing that's definitely different about this area of Oklahoma is that it looks like Colorado and like northeast New Mexico. It just has its completely own aesthetic compared to like, okay, the northeast of Oklahoma is green country or the southeast is, you know, the Owashita's and, you know, anything south of OKC or south of Stroud is all, you know, red dirt country. And it's just like Oklahoma has its all its own little aesthetics all over the place. But this one is like just so remote and in the middle of nowhere. Well, I think that's Black Mesa right in front of me. We're actually, I think up here we're actually going to start ascending. Most of the trail has been pretty flat so far. I think the trail's like four and a half miles long, so I'm kind of doing a pretty decent pace on this. Man, I'm out of shape. I need to go back to the gym. So I will see you all at the top. Taking a little break, probably halfway up. The actual hill isn't that tight, steep. So I made it to the summit, but I think it goes all the way around over there and I think the trail ends, but I think I'm actually done climbing, which is nice because I'm out of shape. What is going on everybody? We are actually at the summit. Now we are 4,200, 4,900 
and 72 feet above sea level. That's the highest point in Oklahoma. Busting out the victory sandwich. And just taking it easy before the hike down. All this is, is just one big flat mesa. That's all it is. We are actually about 200 feet or up. Probably two, three hundred feet actually above the lower, like the lower part of the canyon. So this is the obelisk at the very summit, and it shows each direction and the nearest state to each one. And so to New Mexico, it's 1,299 feet west. Texas is 31 miles south. Kansas is 53 miles northeast. And Colorado is 4.7 miles north. So another cool thing right now is that I am actually standing in New Mexico from the obelisk. New Mexico is only about 1,300 feet. So right now, I am standing right in New Mexico. And this is what the top of the mesa looks like. You know, goes pretty far down there. So I'm about to start my descent back down. I will probably see you all back at the base camp because there's a couple other workshops I want to go to. I'm just not going to film on the way down, so I will see you in a few hours. What's going on, everybody? We are back at base camp now from the hike this morning. My feet are ti tired, so we're just chilling right now until the next event I'm doing, which is fish seining, which is just two people have a net when the, there's a lead line at the bottom of the net. It's like trying to scoop up fish, so that's, that's going to be my next activity. I love doing that. I could do it all day long. And so that'll be uh, coming up. That'll be my main sampling technique while I'm doing my field work. It'll be cool to show you guys what we'll be doing. But it'll also be interesting for me because of the first time ever being here at Lake Carl Etling. And so I don't know what we're all going to catch. Probably some, uh, maybe some suckers or, you know, other different types of species. So get ready for that. A lot of gambusia. A lot of weed. Really? Real gambusia? Okay, there's one. Right there. Oh, that's one. Oh, yeah, there's some more babies. Yeah. That means we could actually get some. Real gambusia? Oh, no. Nope. Juvenile. Little baby sunfish? Yeah. Okay. And, uh, sorry. And then the other thing. So it's the last day of the Bio Blitz. Now we're figuring out how many species did we catch in total? How many did we inventory in total? But it is currently 10 11 p.m. We drove back from Black Mesa today, stopping by to do some more field work in uh, Lara's lab. And so that's what kind of took us a while. That's why there's such a weird time difference. We kind of left Black Mesa at around 11 o'clock this morning. And if you didn't hear, we inventoried over 709 different species. And that's pretty amazing considering I've never been to that part of the state before but just the amount of incredible diversity there is and what, what most people would think is seem like an arid or type of aesthetic or type of landscape than Oklahoma is necessarily used to. Over there it looks more like New Mexico and Eastern Colorado and so a lot of the rare species that we actually find are actually native to those other states but in Oklahoma we view them as rare and so that was actually just a really cool experience because it was just meeting and hanging out with a bunch of different biologists and you know just people ranging from ornithology to you know people who study lichens or mosses you know all the way to people who study insects and just botanists and plants and so it was actually just a really cool little weekend cool getaway just to go out and just see 
all the different types of, you know, diversity in, a, you know, a small concentrated place and, you know, as far west Oklahoma as you can possibly get. And so I want to throw a huge shout out to uh, Dr. Laura Souza for letting me tag along, Megan, her grad student, my buddy Josh Corey. We had ecology together last fall and, you know, thanks for letting me tag along. So it's just an all around just great you know, just weekend and a cool thing to go to. So if you're actually in Oklahoma, uh, next uh, year it's going to be in Greenleaf State Park. I can't remember, but it's uh, about two hours east of where we were uh, this year. And so that was actually just a really cool little thing. So I'll probably try to go to it again next year. You know, it's a just a different type of it's just a different type of environment. Just going out, just camping, and just going out and just going to a workshop. Just you know, hey, there's one on cicadas uh, that was here, that was there uh, last night, and you know, everybody there is super friendly. You know, biologists all get get along. It was just, it was a great, exp it was just a great experience for it being my first one. In my undergrad, I was busy with band and other stuff, so I was never actually able to go to them. And so, it might be a you know an annual thing that I go that I go to and might get involved with the uh, Oklahoma Academy of Arts and Sciences as well. They do a kind of a lot of stuff, little stuff like that as well. So. This is where I'll be, you know, ending the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You know, that would be just absolutely awesome. I would love to, you know, share my experience as, you know, a biologist and, you know, as a grad student with everybody and, you know, share what I want to do in the outdoors, my passion for the outdoors. And so I think I'll just leave it there. And you know what? Get outdoors and spread the passion of the outside. And I'll see you in the next video.